Searching for information in library resources is often like exploring a new land. You often won't find what you're looking for the first time you search. You'll go down some wrong paths, run into trouble, turn around, and start over before you find what you need. Using a library database for the first time can be a little frustrating. Unlike Google, where you just need to type a few words or a sentence, in library databases you often need to change your original keywords. Sometimes you do this in Google too. You type in a few words, take a look at your results, and if you don't see what you need, you change things up a bit. Maybe you take out a word, replace one, or add a new one until you find exactly what you need. Remember, library databases contain millions of articles, papers, books, videos, and more. Chances are they have what you need, but finding that information depends on the type of resource you are using and the type of information you need. If you're searching for background information, you can probably use broad and general language and find what you need pretty easily. But if you're looking for a scholarly source in a library database, you will need to use more technical language, like that used by researchers in the discipline. As you scan your results, take a look at some of the words in the titles of articles or abstracts and see if you can add those to your search. Often researchers use specialized terms that others in the field are familiar with. Your results can also tell you a little bit about how a database is interpreting what you entered. This can help you decide how to change your search so that the database gives you more relevant results. For example, let's say that you're searching for information about social media use and student grades. But in your results, you see the word social and the word media in different sentences, far apart from each other. You're not getting results that are actually about social media. When that happens, you can do your search again, this time with quotation marks around the words social media. This tells the database to search for the phrase social media and not just the random appearance of the individual words in other contexts. You can also scan your results to look for other terms to use in your search. These can be examples, names of products or services, or synonyms. Adding some of these words to your search can often give you good results. The first time you try a search, you may find articles that are not quite what you need, but close. For example, if you're searching for articles on the labeling of GMO foods in the U.S., but you're seeing results about it in other countries, adjust your search to include a geographic area. When you find a good article, you can use the subject terms assigned to it to help you find more articles on the same topic. Subject terms are like tags that the database gives to articles so you can find similar articles easily. When you notice these, click on the subject term that is relevant to your topic. This will give you articles that are actually about the topic rather than articles that just mention your words in passing. When you find the perfect article, you can use it to locate other resources. The author of that article already did a lot of research and you can use their list of works cited to find more articles on the same topic. So remember, when searching library databases, your first search will probably not be your last. You'll need to take a look at your results and use them to decide how you can change your search so that you can find the most relevant resources.